Welcome back to the Math Goose, where in my Math 8 courses we've been talking about um, bivariate statistics. Specifically, we're on bivariate point one, the assignment, and we're going to be doing questions three, four, five, and six on this video. As you guys are aware, this is the review section, so I'm not really as concerned about this as, um, as I probably should be. Let's go ahead. So solve the systems by either graphing or the transit property. So we're going to do both. <clears throat> okay, so I have the equation y equals 2x minus 1.5. So we go to 1.5. And then we're going to go up 2 over 1. Okay, so this is kind of our graph here. Up 2 over 1 something like this. Okay, so that's our number one. <clears throat> we need to solve this for y, so we're going to divide both sides by two. So y equals negative one-half x plus 3.5. Okay, so we're going to come up here to 3.5, and then we're going to go down one over two, Looks like right there we have our answer. So that is at um, 2 and 2.5. Okay, and just to show you that we can do that um, with solving, so we have y equals 1 half plus 3.5, and then y equals 2x minus 1.5. So we have 2x minus 1.5 is equal to negative 2 or negative 1 half x plus 3.5. Okay, I'm going to add 1.5 to both sides. 2x is equal to negative 1 half x plus 4.5. Going to subtract. I'm going to add 1 half to each side. One half x, I get 2.5. x is equal to 5. I'm going to divide by 2.5. And I get x equals 2. Okay, well, x equals 2. I plug this back in. y equals 2 times 2 minus 1.5. So y equals 4 minus 1.5. y equals um, 2.5. So there we have our 2 and our 2.5. You could plug this x back into the other equation and you end up with 2.5 as well. Okay, number four. A U.S. quarter is 24.26 millimeters in diameter and 1.7 millimeters thick. Determine the volume of the quarter. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so we have volume equals pi r squared times height. We have a radius of, so our diameter is 24.26. So our radius would be 12.13. Our height is 1.75. Okay, then we can plug that in as volume equals pi 12.3 or 13 squared times our height of 1.75, then we get a volume of 808.93 millimeters cubed. And that would be our answer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and graph this function. So g of x equals 0.75 x. Um, plus 2. This might look easier if it was four, 3 quarters x. So we're going to go to positive 2. We're going to go up 3 over 4. We have a line. So we can go something like that. Okay, pretty easy. Determine the equation of the graphed, equate, or graphed line. So I have two points. I have 
4 and 3, and 2 and 0. I'm going to determine my slope. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have 4, no, 3 minus 0 over um, 4 minus 2, giving me a slope of 3 halves. Okay, so this is my m. My m equals 3 halves. Okay. I have the points. I know what my y-intercept is. It's down here. It's negative 3. So now I can go y equals mx plus b. I know my m is equal to 3 halves. That's my slope. My b is equal to negative 3. So y equals 3 halves x plus or minus 3. And that is our answer. Okay, let me know if you have any questions on any of these.